Most people are aware of the common ways to die on a job site, but you might be surprised that this harmless looking powder is just as likely to kill you, and you're probably around it every day. Hi, I'm Sergio with Arthur and Hansen, and today we're gonna be talking about silica hazards, more specifically about respirable crystalline silica. Construction exposes workers to various hazards on any given day. Some of these can be easily identified, such as fall hazards, heavy equipment hazards, electrical hazards, and so on. And then there's those hazards that are not as easy to spot, even if they are commonly found on construction sites. Silica is a prime example of this, and the subject that we'll be focusing on in this video. Over 2 million U.S. construction workers are exposed to silica on the job each year. One of the reasons so many workers are exposed to silica is because it is one of the most common minerals on Earth, found in soil, rock, or sand. Silica naturally occurs as either amorphous, which has no defined patterns or regular form, or crystalline, which is well-defined and has a regular crystalline form. Because of its defined form and its distinct ability to build up in the lungs, crystalline silica is a hazardous form of silica, and that's the type of silica we're going to be talking about today. There are three forms of crystalline silica, quartz, cristobalite, and tritomite. Quartz is most common and can be found in sand, gravel, clay, granite, sandstone, and other rock. Cristobalite and tritomite, on the other hand, are not as common, but are more toxic to workers if they are exposed. Silica is found in tons of materials used on construction sites, such as brick, cement, concrete, drywall, tile, and so much more. So you can see why it's common for construction workers to be exposed to this hazardous substance. Okay, yes, many of these items and materials found on sites can be encountered in our everyday life, at home, the office, and even in your children's school. But don't worry, just because a certain material is made from silica doesn't make it hazardous in and of itself. So go ahead and pick up a brick, or a rock if you wish. It won't harm anyone, unless you throw it at them. Then yeah, that would cause some harm. Anyways, with that being said, it's important to understand how those materials containing silica, like our brick, can become hazardous. Silica becomes hazardous to workers when very small dust particles are created and become respirable. These tiny particles become airborne when workers cut, drill, or crush materials that contain silica. When exposed to silica dust, workers can breathe it in, allowing it to travel deep into their lungs. This exposure can contribute to many health problems, including lung disease, COPD, and silicosis which is an incurable and deadly disease. Respirable silica is so small it cannot be seen with the naked eye. As a reference, respirable silica is 100 times smaller than ordinary sand, making it small enough to penetrate the body's natural defenses and get deep into your lungs. So, if you're involved in or around any dusty work on the site, assume the dust contains respirable silica and refer back to your silica exposure plan for ways to protect yourself. Better safe than sorry. We hope this video helped you better understand what silica is and how workers are exposed to it. There is much more to cover on silica, including hazard control best practices, using OSHA's Table 1, PPE, and more. So stay tuned. If you have any topics you would like us to cover in future videos, leave them in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video if you enjoy the content and subscribe so you don't miss out on any more videos like these. Also, be sure to follow us on all social media platforms to stay updated with any more safety tips and tricks. Thanks for watching, and until next time, be safe and thank you.